I've had somebody say this to me. How do they treat the new supply? How do you think he's being with new supply? Do you think that he's being like he was with me? And I want to tell you um, how the narcissist treats new supply is excellent until they don't. Just like with you. Just like with me. Just like with any person that has been victim to the narcissist love bombing. Love bombing is a very powerful, powerful tool. And some of these cats are very skilled at making somebody feel loved, making somebody hear nice words, dramatic words, right? They emphatically display things to you that you've wanted to hear forever. Well, they've been listening to you talk while they're getting to know you. You probably, when they said, why'd your last person break up? Or what are you looking for in a person? And all you gotta do is answer those two questions. They have all the information they need to embark on treating you excellently in the beginning. They know what you like. They know what you wanna hear. They know you wanna get married. They know you want kids. They know you want a house somewhere. They know you want a vacation somewhere. They know you want, okay. And they're gonna come on strong with all of what any information they've gathered from you and they're doing the same to new supply. So yes, absolutely, and it's hurtful, I know. I know it is. But I made a lot of videos on how they're treating and even saying the same sentences to the new supply. I know my ex-narcissist wasn't any kind of Shakespeare. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? You think he comes up with new things for all these 40 years of behaving like this to women? You think he comes up with new things? They're treating the new supply as excellently as they did you. Maybe even the same things. Slightly altered because they tend to mirror what the person wants. So maybe their new supply doesn't want to get married. They've already been married. They've had their children. Say they're older. So maybe marriage isn't something they love bomb them with. But maybe with you, you wanted to get married and have your child. Still, you haven't yet. Maybe you haven't met that that's what they're going to use on you. But the other part, oh, we'll just grow old together. We'll just be two happy people. We never have to get married, but just know you're my number one. You always will be. I think of you as my wife, even if you don't marry me. Mine used to call me wife from like day three. Are you out of your mind? Call himself my husband. I've been married once, okay? One time. That's when I use the word wife and husband. But that was a love bombing that he would throw out. So his ex, who was across the country, who I found text in his phone, was asking him and worried about, how are you treating her though? I bet she's in love with you. I bet you're being so wonderful just like you were with me. Absolutely he was. The whole time texting you, making you think he's going back to California. And then the whole latter part of our relationship, he's texting another one, all the same things, which I found also, making her think, their boyfriend and girlfriend, making me think he's staying here. He's doing it with all the people at one time. They juggle and they're treating everyone excellently if it's in the initial stages. So even though I'm, I'm not trying to break your heart by telling you that they're treating new supply excellently, but I am trying to make you know that it's like insert person here and they have a formula. Okay, so now I'm at the love bomb stage. Let me lay it on thick for this person. Just like they laid it on thick for you. So it didn't mean anything, Renee? And I can say that, it seems like I can say that easily, but I hesitate because I know many of you are new to this channel and you're going through it right now and you're searching to find some meaning to this relationship that you went through. You're searching and hoping and praying. The sooner you realize that you were, let me just talk about myself so I'm not hurting your feelings so directly. The sooner I realized with the ex from California, the new one in me, all getting the same words and the same promises, you know, save for altering it a little bit to the person's personality. The, the moment I realized that, I didn't, I wasn't bothered at all because I saw him as an actor and a bad actor. I fell for it. I had a vulnerable spot. I was in pain from something that I had just left 
and he found me at a stage as many had done in the past. But now I'm healed. So now I look at someone like that and I go, ooh. I'm not shameful that I fell for it. I embrace every step of my journey from all my life. It landed me where I am and I fully feel that way. Even huge mistakes I've made. You learn from them and you move on. You can't like wallow in that. But it'll never happen again. Because the second I get treated so excellently so fast, I'm going to feel like new supply to a narcissist. I'm going to feel like new supply and this guy's a narcissist. Insert your own pronoun. We always say to make the story your own. Mine is he for a romantic partner. So my stories follow that. I always feel it important to try to get that in if I remember to say it because you could put in your own partner and whatever pronoun. These people come in all shapes and sizes. They need they need affirmation. They need to be worshipped. And if, if it's over between you guys and they're moving on to new supply, they have to woo them. They're courting them. They're pursuing them. Well, they're not going to do that by being mean to them. They're not going to do that by being lackadaisical with them. They're going to do that by love bombing them as hard as they did you. I know that's so painful. And I'm sorry. I really, really am. I really am. But when you see it in black and white like I did in the texts, it becomes so clear that the dysfunction is theirs and it no longer bothered me. What do you mean, Renee? You took your heart right out of it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. It really did fast, fast forward my healing. Once I realized, oh, nothing was ever, oh, he was just acting, oh, like a movie. So like a movie it was to him. Each one is like a mini movie and they get into their acting role and their goal is to pursue this person to the point of completion that they capture them. They are treating the new supply excellently as they did you. And what the new supply is doing right now, as you did, is they are ignoring every single red flag they see because they're being treated excellently with the love bombing. So they're ignoring the red flags, which the narcissist isn't a magician. Red flags come out. I saw a thousand of them in week one, night one, definitely month one. Ignored them because the love bombing was so good. Made me feel excellent, right? But now I look back and I think, oh, I started to look at it in a clinical way. And it really helped me and started to look at him like, wow, what an interesting science experiment he is behaving like this with like no feeling inside. Then if you can love three people at once, you got nothing inside of you because they can't love anybody. They can behave like they're loving three people or 10 people at once. They can pretend through love bombing that they're loving three people at once. X supply, you, and new, new supply. They can do that all day long. They're con artists. They're con artists. And some of them are better than others. And they really make you believe them. You guys, I really want you to keep this in mind. I don't want you feeling bad if they found new supply thinking, but they're getting all that good treatment. Is it good? Really? I would never want it again, ever again. And I will repel it like water on a duck's back. I will repel it. I, I, I at this point in my life will only accept genuine heartfelt and you have to see time and action, time and action. Somebody coming on that fast before the salad hits the table on our first date? No. No, I don't think so, dude. I just said dude. But you know what I mean? So keep an eye on this. And as you go forward and you're so upset because your narcissist has new supply and you're feeling terrible because he's saying all the same things to her. Yep. And the person before you felt terrible when he was saying all the same things to you. They felt terrible when he was saying all the same things to you, just as you feel terrible that he's saying all those same things to the new supply. They treat everybody excellently until they do not. Thank you for watching, you guys. Please go ahead, hit sub, like, and share. 
and have a good day.